everybody it's crystal with crystals diverse creations so i am super excited i recently purchased the trans pearl plus 1620 it's a 16 by 20 heat press from pro world let me tell y'all my heat press had just went and um i don't think it was really a big deal to get it fixed but one of the features that I'm super excited about with this one is that the control box actually comes separate. So in the case like mine, um, if there was a problem, I would be able to just take this back. But it get even better than that, y'all, because Pro World is actually in Pensacola, New Jersey. I'm in Philadelphia. It's less than 20 minutes just across the bridge, and I can actually take this back there. I was able to go pick this up look at the video this is me well i should say look at the picture this is me actually picking it up from there ordered it the same day picked it up the same day um just went there they loaded it right in my car it's kind of big be ready if you do um pick it up because i did have to get my husband thank you robert for putting it um bringing it in the house we had to take it out the box upstairs and then bring it down here he brought it down so it is you know a good size footprint because obviously it's 16 by 20 but this is probably one of my favorite um elements is that you wouldn't need to take the whole press anywhere you literally only need to do this so this is great for me being local but it's even better if you are out of state so that's just something to keep in mind this here has three little pieces for you to hook up to the setup so it's no big deal at all i told you all about the panel box one of um one of my other favorite features one that i've not really had the luxury of is the removable platens so y'all you can actually get um several i think there's a four by four a six by ten a eight by ten eleven by fifteen and a six by twenty which does like sleeves and pant legs you can get that along with the 16 by 20 that you already Flat. have. So I purchased the 6 by 20. This was $99. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing either the heat press or any other platens, please use my affiliate code. It'll be linked down um, in the description uh, with the with the video. But um, none of them are more than $99. So in addition to being able to switch out these um, platens, the other cool thing is that it's threadable. And what does that mean? It means that you can take your shirt and you're able to just slide it on here. And I'll show you because I'm going to do a quick press for you. I'm going to actually do a DTF that um, I'm going to do this image right here. So um, you'll be able to thread it on. And that's really helpful. Like if you're doing sublimation and you want to do something on the front and the back, sometimes when you put um, your image on the front and then you go to put it on the back, that heat and trying to keep it all straight and everything isn't always the easiest process. This way, the other one won't even be a part of what you're doing. You'll only be working on one side independent from the other. So it's a really quick process. So we'll do it um, once we get it set up. We'll go ahead and show you how I'll show you how quick and easy it is to take this um, out so that's the platens and I think that that's a really cool feature because um, I like have every Cricut uh, press and the reality of it is you would be able to do a lot of that right here on your heat press your 1620 so um, side of the removable control box let me tell you some of the other features some of the things that came with it in the box so in the box you got your cord you got tools so you don't need to get any additional tools to be able to install the box everything that you need comes in here and there's like some um thumb screws so you don't need a screwdriver you're just gonna be able to turn those they give you a really nice um pair of heat gloves which is nice and um it comes with a nice little velcro um belt which i actually like so this velcro belt just kind of well actually you don't need it to keep it down because one of the nice features is that you have this option for manual or order open just by flipping this little piece here so you just turn it up or down for either um auto open or if you want to make it manual so say you're doing like sublimation or something and you want it to be manual 
but in opening it, um, it also comes with a Teflon sheet and it comes with a cover already. So you don't have to buy an extra cover. It comes on there already, which is really, really nice. Um, so you have those things straight out of the box. Another cool feature that I like is it actually has presets which is really, really nice. So um, I believe you can set up to four presets. And with the four presets, um, I'm planning on using one for like my regular HTV vinyl, one for DTF, and then one for sublimation. And you'll be able to just kind of move about into those presets and you know, you'll still have one other one that you can allocate to something else. And um, also it goes up to 430 and you can actually um, get to 350 in less than 20 minutes. And then another cool feature is that it has the auto off. So you don't have to worry about that. You have the safety feature in the auto off. And then also when you're in your um, auto open, you have a green button. And that's going to be on here. When we put it all together, you had this green button, which is your um, quick release, your emergency stop button. So that will also hurry up and open up your press. So say you realize that you didn't put the pressure right or you need to change make a quick change you push that button and it's going to pop open um i use it on the print the um heat press that i previously had like when i go to do my dtf because it will have it already set for the amount of time that i need for the dtf and then when i go back just to hit that second press i don't need the full time so then i pop the button hit the button and then it would open up in addition um to that you also um can use this auto um, the auto order manual you can use the manual when you're doing sublimation because sometimes when it pops open you get ghosting so you can turn it and it's just as easy as just flipping this so you can turn it and make it manual so during your um, sublimation process you can um, go ahead and close it manually instead of auto open or you can um, adjust your pressures and you'll see it on your control box that's a really nice feature because they have like three um different uh categories like light medium and a heavy pressure and it's something like one to three four to seven and then eight to nine so those are the three different categories of your pressure so you can use any of those and you'll see the number indicated where you are and you'll know that it's one of those which is kind of a really really good thing because oftentimes we just keep tightening and i know i do and it just keeps going around and around and i don't know if i'm going higher in or further out or whatever so that's really a um really a good feature so we're going to go ahead and get it set up i'm going to um spin it around a little bit i guess and try to just go ahead and get this control box on it so we can get it set up and get it heated and we'll go ahead and do a quick press together okay so we have it kind of spun around here's a picture of what it looks like um what i'm going to be connecting to so basically um here on this let's see so this will be the right orientation and so i'm working from the back we have this little thing here and there's a notch there we have this cord here and then we just have this and it's just kind of screws off to give us um, access and that's the main piece there so we're just taking there's a piece of velcro that's kind of holding all of this together We're just going to release it. I'll start from the largest to the smallest. So. So, but I wanted to show you how fast it was to be able to change out the platen. So you can see that. So basically there's a little knob. And you just hit the knob. Okay, so we have the other one. And if you see, see this little piece here? This just fits over this piece here. 
and once you get it positioned over there you just do like that and that's it and it's on is that like the coolest thing so with any of those that we spoke about earlier the four by fours or the eight by ten whatever eleven fifteen you just pull it back pop it off put on your next size for whatever you're going to be doing get that middle piece lined up however fast you can do that because i can't quite see so there we go and there you have it so it's just a matter of lining it up and then now you're ready to go so this is the size that i have this is the six by 20 that i want to use for sleeves and pant legs so i'm going to go ahead and put the um 16 by 20 back on but what oh and here is where you would thread so you're able to put your garment all the way under here you know which is really really cool let me show you um so you can put your garment all the way through here and thread it which is really really nice and so that's what you have with this now we'll switch back to the 16 by 20 and so you could ideally have you know all of the various ones and you don't need to get them until you need them which is actually what i plan to do as i need them i'll pick them up okay and now let's seat it and i just go ahead and lock it back on and it's ready to go and there's the drawer opening and closing so just that simple and it's funny i could get the larger one on faster than i could get the smaller one the other piece that you need to install is the handle. And one of the things I'm noticing is I guess you get a handle with the 16 by 20, but not with any of the others. So I guess you just pull it out for the other. So you just have the handle and they give you the two screws and the little hex hexagon to put it on. So I'll just go ahead and install that. the handle on there so it's really funny i love this um closing feature because in a small space like this it's good to not have to have that arm all the way up which seems to take up so much space so um i'm gonna go ahead and get this plugged up and um i'm gonna set it for the 290 so we can go ahead and do our um press and then we'll also take a walk around the um panel the control box while it's heating up okay so it's plugged up let's just go on and power it up so here i i have it set for 290 it's just trying to get up the temp i also have it set for 30 seconds but because i have it down so you can see it it's counting down and then when i close it it's actually on that square shows us that it's um at a seven pressure and that seven pressure indicates a medium pressure a high medium pressure because medium is four to seven so that's we have the beep lets us know that it is um, ready to open okay so we're at temp so I'm just going to do a quick um, sweatshirt for myself and one of the things I know I'm going to have to get used to is with the threat and that you're going to be doing your um, item upside down so that just takes a bit of getting used to since I'm used to doing it the other way. I will get used to this and then we can slide this out. Put this on here like so. And so if I had the um, smaller uh, platen, then one of the things is I would be able to um, not be pressing over top of my pocket so we have the lint roller so we're just gonna lint roll this so for DTF we do a quick um, press just to get the moisture out I feel like this could use a little bit more pressure so we'll just pop that out like that I do want it to be on auto so 
got that like that. We're gonna make this image. So I'm just gonna get her centered. And I'm just really centering her in the between the pocket and the middle of this. any indicator on the screen to let us know whether we're at manual or auto that'd be helpful if it isn't but I'm not quite sure if it is or what it does so three seconds out it went ahead and told us um, started beeping letting us know that we were at temp so with DTF we have to wait for it to cool down before we can take off the film so I'm gonna let it cool down and then we'll come back we put a Teflon sheet or a kind of paper over it to cover it and we press it for um, about nine seconds. So we're going to wait for it to cool down and then I'll be back when we're going to do that second press. Ready to be peeled, just cooled off. So we'll just go ahead and peel it. rhinestones to kind of fix ever so oh I didn't realize it was closed so I don't need much time I just get my quick release and open it up so here is the finished hoodie um, let's see, you can see it up close um, I will leave the link for this image I did add the words to it so it'll be the image without the words um, found it on Etsy I love the design and I love the um, creators work as well um, hope you found this video helpful um, again this is the trans pro plus 1620 from pro world and um, shout out to Ant for helping me he helped me from the time that I linked up with him um, online all the way through my purchase so thank you thank you thank you aunt and um, I just wanted to recap I just wanted to um, talk about what I really liked about this um, press really quickly so um, the color I fell in love with the color immediately when I saw it so I love the color I, I love it I love the color and um, also after my experience with my um, most recent press, I love the fact that this can just be um, taken back or sent back to the company um, without needing to haul away a whole uh, printer. I keep saying printer, a whole press. Um, my top five favorites of the press overall. My number one is the fact that we have the auto open and then also that um, manual feature. I love that because again, it makes it appear smaller in a small um, space. Number two is those um, interchangeable platens because I've never really experienced that and it's pretty cool so that you can kind of reduce um, the need for alternate machines or presses by having those interchangeable platens at your disposal. Um, number three um, is the pressure display so that you're not wondering what your pressure setting is and number four are the safety features the safety features in that you can hit that button if you need to get it open and you're in the auto um, setting and then also that it goes to sleep on its own and then the last thing is the presets because I think that's pretty cool that you don't have to kind of fidget around to see what's what and I did find the paper um, on that it's noted as a new function and here it is it's just as simple to go ahead and set them up so I hope you found this video helpful I hope I covered um, 
all of the things that you were interested in about this um, press. If you have additional questions, please go ahead and drop it down in the um, comments and tell me what you thought was the coolest feature on this press. And if you're thinking about buying a press or you need to get some additional platens, please use my um, affiliate code. It helps me support my channel and just kind of lets me bring you other awesome videos like this one. So please like, like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you aren't a current subscriber and leave a comment. I'd appreciate hearing from you. Take care. Hit the notification so you can find future videos of mine when I um, post them. Till next time. Take care. Bye.